William Blake was a visionary English poet, painter and printmaker who lived from 1757 to 1827. Here are some key points about his poetry. Early lyrical poetry. Blake's first major poetry collection was Songs of Innocence, 1789, containing simple lyrical poems like The Lamb, written from the perspective of a child with a pure, innocent view of the world. He followed this with Songs of Experience, 1794, which contained companion poems with a darker, more experienced perspective on the same subjects, like The Tiger, which questions the nature of God's creation. These collections showcased Blake's talent for capturing different voices and perspectives through deceptively simple rhyming verse. Prophetic Books From the 1790s onward, Blake produced a series of complex and ambitious prophetic books, like The Book of Thel, Visions of the Daughters of Albion, and Milton. These epics featured Blake's own invented mythology and explored his unorthodox religious and political views through dense symbolic verse and accompanying illustrations. Works like Milton examined the role of the visionary poet and the creative process itself. Themes and Style Blake's poetry frequently protested against oppressive institutions like the church and addressed social injustices like child labor, exemplified in poems like London. His unique style fused simple rhyming lyrics with complex mythological imagery and apocalyptic biblical language. Blake believed poetry should be the entire product of the labor of genius and strove to produce his works through innovative self-publishing methods that united text and visual art. Blake was a true visionary who pushed the boundaries of poetry with his blend of lyrical skill, mythological imagination and revolutionary social critique themes in William Blake's Songs of Innocence and of Experience. The major themes in William Blake's Songs of Innocence and of Experience include the destruction of innocence. Blake laments the loss of childhood innocence at the hands of a corrupt and oppressive society. Poems like The Chimney Sweeper in Songs of Innocence depict the harsh exploitation of child labor, while its counterpart in Songs of Experience shows the chimney sweeper's disillusionment. The innocent joys of childhood are constantly threatened by the mind-forged manacles of societal norms and institutions. Imagination versus Reason Blake champions the human imagination and creativity over cold rationalism and materialism. Songs of Innocence celebrates the unbridled imagination of children, while Songs of Experience critiques a society ruled by restrictive reason and dogma that crushes the visionary spirit. Religious Hypocrisy Blake attacks the hypocrisy of the clergy and organized religion which preach piety but reinforce oppressive systems, as seen in poems like The Garden of Love and London. He seeks a more pure, naturalistic spirituality, free from institutional corruption. Nature as Divine Innocence Like other Romantic poets, Blake sees the natural world as a divine embodiment of innocence and purity, uncorrupted by the evils of society. Poems like The Lamb present nature as a reflection of God's pure creation, the flaws of earthly authority. Blake questions the ability of earthly parents, institutions and authorities to properly nurture and protect the innocence of children, implying a need to seek a higher, divine source of guidance and care. Through contrasting the states of innocence and experience, Blake crafts a searing critique of 18th century society and a call to liberate the human spirit through individual creativity and vision. Symbolism in William Blake's Songs of Innocence and of Experience William Blake made extensive use of symbolism in his Songs of Innocence and of Experience. Here are some of the key symbolic elements, the lamb and the tiger. The lamb symbolizes innocence, meekness and childlike purity, as seen in the poem The Lamb from Songs of Innocence. In contrast, the tiger represents fierce energy, strength and destructive experience in the iconic poem The Tiger from Songs of Experience. The Garden and the City The idyllic natural garden setting represents the state of innocence, unspoiled by societal corruption, as in The Echoing Green from Innocence. 
the City of London symbolizes the harsh realities of poverty, oppression, and loss of innocence brought on by industrialization, depicted in poems like London from experience. Children and chimney sweepers. Children symbolize pure innocence, while their exploitation as chimney sweepers represents the destruction of that innocence by the cruelties of society and institutions. Poems like The Chimney Sweeper, in both innocence and experience, present this contrast. Religion and oppression. Symbols like the church and clergy often represent religious hypocrisy and oppressive authority that stifles human freedom and expression. For example, the Garden of Love uses the garden metaphor to critique the repressive rules imposed by the church. Through his vivid symbolism, Blake explores the tension between the innocence of childhood and the corruption and loss of innocence imposed by a fallen world of experience. His symbols powerfully capture his central themes of imagination versus reason and social injustice, influence of the French Revolution on Blake's Songs of Experience. The French Revolution had a significant influence on William Blake's Songs of Experience, which was published in 1794, five years after the start of the Revolution. Here are some key ways the Revolution shaped this collection. Intensified social criticism. Blake's political radicalism intensified in the years leading up to the French Revolution, fueling the biting social criticism present in Songs of Experience. Poems like London and the Chimney Sweeper directly attack the oppression, poverty, and exploitation of the lower classes that the revolution sought to overthrow. Questioning authority and institutions. Inspired by the revolutionary ideals of liberty and overthrowing tyrannical rule, Blake's poems frequently question the legitimacy of traditional authorities like the church and monarchy. The Garden of Love symbolically depicts institutional religion as a repressive force crushing natural human innocence. Championing individual freedom. The revolution's emphasis on individual rights and overthrowing oppressive social systems aligned with Blake's beliefs. Poems like Earth's Answer and The Clod and the Pebble celebrate the freedom of the human spirit over restrictive dogma. Apocalyptic prophetic voice. Blake began an epic prophetic poem about the revolution itself, though only the first book survives. This revolutionary spirit infuses songs of experience with an apocalyptic visionary tone calling for a new social and spiritual order as seen in poems like The Tiger. While not overtly about the French Revolution, the collection's darker perspective provides a window into Blake's revolutionary fervor in this period. The upheaval challenged oppressive institutions and sparked his desire to liberate the human soul from the mind-forged manacles of societal conventions, Blake's self-publishing methods, and their impact. William Blake was a pioneering self-publisher who developed innovative methods for producing and distributing his works, which had a significant impact on his poetry and the book publishing industry itself. Integrating text and visuals. Blake was a skilled engraver and printmaker in addition to being a poet. He developed a unique relief etching process that allowed him to integrate his handwritten text and illustrations on the same etched plates. This unified his poetic and visual arts into illuminated books, reflecting Blake's belief that poetry should be the entire product of the labor of genius. Complete creative control. By self-publishing, Blake maintained complete control over the production and presentation of his works, free from the censorship or editorial interference of publishers. This allowed him to explore controversial social and religious themes, as well as unconventional poetic styles and mythological narratives in works like his prophetic books. Affordable distribution. Blake printed his illuminated books himself and hand-colored many of the plates, making each copy a laborious work of art. However, this allowed him to produce relatively inexpensive copies that could be purchased by a wider audience beyond the literary elite. His self-publishing democratized poetry and visual art. Lasting artistic vision. 
Blake's integrated method of illuminated printing was technically difficult and commercially unsuccessful during his lifetime. However, it ensured that his poetic and artistic visions survived intact, unaltered by publishers. This allowed his unique voice and creative innovations to inspire future generations of writers and artists. While Blake lived in poverty, his self-publishing efforts were crucial in establishing him as a revolutionary figure who expanded the artistic possibilities of poetry and book production. His visionary methods paved the way for greater creative freedom and accessibility in publishing.